Hello all, welcome to a new video on logic design. In this video, I have explained the mapping of SOP and POS expression using a three variable K map. In my previous lectures, I have discussed about the mapping and minimization of SOP and POS expression using a two variable K map. Check out those videos in the segment K map. If you are new to my channel, check out the videos on the selected topics from the course of logic design and a few videos on the solutions of the previous year question papers of logic design. The links of all those videos have been given in the description box. So without further delay, let's get started. Let us see what is a three variable K map. A function in three variables expressed in standard SOP form have eight possible combinations. Suppose we have three variables, for example, A, B, C are the three variables. When it is expressed in standard SOP, that is sum of the product form, it has two to the power of three, that is eight possible combinations. Similarly, a three variable K map consists of two to the power of three, that is eight cells. So in order to minimize the SOP or a POS expression, we use a K map. We can use a two variable K map, three variable K map, four variable K map according to the variables present in the SOP and POS expression. We can use this K map to simplify the POS and SOP expression. Here we are going to learn how we can use a three variable K map to simplify the SOP expression. So in this video, I'll be explaining how to map the SOP and POS expression in a three variable K map. Let us see how to express ABC in standard SOP form. So these are the eight combinations of the variable ABC. The first combination is A bar, B bar, C bar, which can be designated as M0 and A bar, B bar, C can be designated as M1, A bar, B, C bar as M2, A bar, B, C as M3, A, B bar, C bar as M4, A, B bar, C as M5, A, B, C bar as M6 and A, B, C as M7. Now, these terms that is M0, M1, M2, M3, M4, etc. up to M7 can be called as min terms. Now, in this variables, three variables A, B, C, A is called as MSB that is the most significant bit and C is called as least significant bit or LSB. In the standard POS form, the eight combinations are A plus B plus C, A plus B plus C bar, A plus B bar plus C, A plus B bar plus C bar, A bar plus B plus C, A bar plus B plus C bar, A bar plus B bar plus C and A bar plus B bar plus C bar. So this is written in POS form. And in POS, the literal without a bar that is a b and c the literal without a bar is treated as zero and the literal with a bar is treated as one so in the first combination that is a plus b plus c it is designated as m0 that is a is treated as zero b is treated as zero and c is treated as zero therefore a plus B plus C is designated as M0. Now A plus B plus C bar. C bar is designated as 1 that is literal with a bar is designated as 1 and literal without a bar is designated as 0 in POS. Therefore A plus B plus C bar is designated as M1. A plus B bar plus C is designated as M2. A plus B bar plus C bar is designated as M3. 
a bar plus b plus c is designated as m4 a bar plus b plus c bar is designated as m5 a bar plus b bar plus c as m6 and a bar plus b bar plus c bar as m7 now these designated terms m0 m1 m2 etc up to m7 is called as max terms and a is the msb of the max term designator msb means most significant bit and c is the lsb of the max term designator lsb is least significant bit let us see how to map a sop expression in a three variable k map so first of all let us draw the three variable k map a three variable k map consists of 2 to the power of 3 which is equal to 8 cells that is 2 rows and 4 columns the variables are a b c now we are going to place the binary number 0 0 for the first column this first column denotes 0 0 that is 0 denotes the complemented variable b and the second 0 denotes the complemented variable c that is b bar c bar 0 0 or b bar c bar now the second column is 0 1 where 0 denotes b bar and 1 denotes c that is 1 denotes the non-complemented variable c and the first 0 denotes the complemented variable b therefore b bar c similarly 1 0 and 1 1 you can notice here that these binary values are not placed according to the order that is order is 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 but i have placed 1 0 in the fourth column and 1 1 in the third column this is because here the min terms or max terms should differ by only one variable so here each bits represent the variables bc so you can see that the first bit in these when you consider these two cells these two cells are adjacent to each other because the first bit in these two cells are same the first bit is 1 in this case here also the first bit is 1 what about the second bit here the second bit is 1 but in this case the second bit is 0 therefore it differ by one variable these cells differ by one variable therefore it is adjacent to each other similarly when you consider these two cells the first bit the first bit varies from 0 to 1 and the second bit is constant it is 1 similarly when you consider these two cells which are adjacent to each other the first bit is constant it is 0 and the second bit changes from 0 to 1 and we can call these two zeros sorry rows as 0 and 1 where this 0 denotes a bar and 1 denotes a now this cell is called as a bar b bar c that is this cell belongs to first row first column where this entire row is represented with this binary value 0 or a bar the 0 denotes a bar and this first column is b bar c bar therefore this cell this cell represents a bar b bar c bar similarly the next cell a bar 0 1 means it is b bar c this one the third cell it is a bar bc 1 1 means it represents bc it is non complemented variables bc next a bar bc bar 
and the next cell is called as a b bar c bar a b bar c a b c and a b c bar here this entire row represents a that is 1 1 denotes the non complemented variable a therefore a here in this case second row first column a b bar c bar similarly the other cells now this cell is denoted or designated as m0 the first cell it is designated as m0 second as m1 third this one m3 m2 because we have placed 1 0 in the fourth column and 1 1 in the third column therefore m2 m3 m4 m5 m7 m6 so these are the cells inside the uh, three variable k map and we can designate each cells or we can call each cells we can number each cells as 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so this is a three variable k map now to map a pos expression in a three variable k map we have to draw the three variable k map which consists of eight cells and we have to mark the bits on the rows and the columns and you can see that here the first cell represents the first combination of the pos expression a plus b plus c the second cell represents the second combination a plus b plus c bar and this represents a plus b bar plus c bar and the next cell represents a plus b bar plus c similarly the other cells as uh, like eight combinations these cells uh, represents the eight combinations of the variables now this a plus b plus c can be designated as capital m0 and a plus b plus c bar as m1 m2 m3 m4 m5 m6 and m7 and you can write the designated value that is designated number 0 1 2 3 etc as the cell number each uh, 0 1 2 3 each cell represents one max term therefore 0 1 2 3 are the designated numbers or cell numbers here so this is a three variable k map for a pos now let us do this example here we have to map this expression that is f is equal to a bar b bar c plus a b bar c plus a bar b c bar plus a b c bar plus a b c in a three variable k map because there are three variables here a b c therefore we have to use a three variable k map so what is the first step the first step is the given sop expression this is in sop form the given sop expression should be converted to min terms that is uh, four terms are there one two three four five sorry five terms are there so we have to uh, convert each term to corresponding min terms so in the first case the literal or the variable with a bar is written as 0 and the variable without a bar is written as 1 here a bar b bar is 0 and c is written as 1 similarly for the next term it is 1 0 1 in the third term a bar b c bar a bar is a variable with a literal therefore write it as 0 b as 1 and c bar as 0 therefore 0 1 0 a b c bar can be written as 1 1 0 and a b c can be written as 1 1 1 now the next step is in order to write the uh, min term 
there is a trick that we can follow here we can use the 4 to 1 trick 4 to 1 trick means here the first bit is considered as 2 to the power of 2 which is equal to 4 second bit is considered as 2 to the power of 1 which is 2 and the third bit as 2 to the power of 0 1 this is 4 to 1 trick so here wherever 0 is there just neglect the uh, numbers written against that and wherever you have a 1 consider the number which is written against that so here we can ignore 4 and 2 because 4 into 0 will give you 0 2 into 0 will give you 0 1 into 1 will give you 1 therefore you can write the min term as m1 now in this case in the second case that is uh, for the second term we can write uh, 4 to 1 here uh, this middle bit 2 into 0 this will be ignored uh, we can consider these two that is 4 into 1 plus 1 into 1 will give you 5 that is m5 this is the min term m5 now in the next bit uh, you can see it is 2 m2 and in the next case it is m6 that is 4 plus 2 4 into 1 is 4 2 into 1 2 4 plus 2 will give you 6 therefore m6 is the min term uh, corresponding to a b c bar and in the last case it is m7 now when you write the min term function f is equal to summation m 1 2 5 6 7 we have to rearrange this in ascending order so 1 2 5 6 7 summation m 1 2 5 6 7 so we got the min term as summation m 1 2 5 6 7 and now we have to place ones in the corresponding cells which are present in the expression which are the corresponding cells 1 2 5 6 7 so this is your k map 3 variable k map you have to place 1 in the cell number 1 then 2 in cell number 2 next cell number 5 you have to place a 1 cell number 6 place a 1 in cell number 6 and 7 so we have placed ones in all the cells and the remaining cells you have to place zeros so th the mapping is done let us consider another example here a pos expression is given this is in pos form and we have to place ones in the three variable k map that is we are going to map the pos expression in a three variable k map so here the first step is you have to uh, write the max term for each terms here the first term uh, since this is a pos pos expression here the variable without the bar is considered as zero and variable with a bar is considered as 1 just the opposite of SOP so in POS the variable without the bar is considered as 0 and the variable with a bar is considered as 1 therefore in the second term it is 1 0 1 next term 1 1 1 next term 0 1 1 and the last term is 1 1 0 now again we can use this 4 to 1 trick and write the max term when you write the max term the letter m should be capital and write the subscripts whatever uh, conversion you have done here from binary to decimal that 
number should be written as the subscript here. Therefore, M0, the second one is M5, the third term is M7, fourth term is M3 and M6. So, these are the max terms. We have converted this POS expression to max terms and we can write the max term expression as f is equal to pi m 0 3 5 6 7. Now we have to place zeros, zeros in the corresponding cells, max terms. Each cell represents one max term. So whichever uh, max terms are present here 0 3 5 6 7 place zeros in those cells that is 0 3 5 6 and 7 and the remaining cells should be placed with ones so here the mapping of the pos expression is done